do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello students, today we are studying chapter human health and diseases. In that, we are studying topic T lymphocytes. Now when I say T lymphocytes, I mean to say T cells of our body. Now what are these T cells? There are two different kinds, T helper and T C cells. Let's study and find out about them. T lymphocytes. Now when I talk about this family of T lymphocytes, T lymphocytes are those cells which are responsible for CMI. The full form of CMI is cell mediated immune response. How does this T lymphocyte work and who does include or what is included in this T lymphocyte family? When I talk about T lymphocyte, it means the two major cells or two major immune cells of our body, T C cells and T H cells. Now T C cells are cytotoxic T cells or you can say the killer cells of our body. They don't do anything, they just go and kill certain cells without finding out that they belong to self or they are non self But the T helper cells always try and help cytotoxic T cells in the function. All the T cells differentiate in the stem cell of our body or stem region cell of our body. Now sensitized T lymphocytes differentiate and produce different type of clones which form different varieties of T cells. And T cells and membrane B cells and ACPs that is antigen presenting cells work in coordination to carry out immune responses in our body. The four different types of T lymphocytes which we'll come across is the helper cells, the killer T cells, suppressor T cells and memory T cells. T lymphocytes or you can say T cells of your body. Now they are responsible for bringing in cell mediated immunity or CMI, cell mediated immune response. They now go through a cascade of immune response. They only trigger and function and directly target a particular cell rather than going through the whole process which other cells or cytokinins or delta lichens actually do. They follow a cascade and a pattern you can say. The T lymphocytes or T cells basically differentiate or they originate from the bone marrow and they differentiate in the stem cell region of our body. Sensitized T lymphocytes or T cells basically produce a clone or you can say an army or battalion of different T lymphocytes which have got different functions and different originality.
the different kind of T cells which we'll come across is helper T cells, killer T cells and suppressor T cells. Now let's talk about TH cells or helper T cells. They basically produce lymphokines and this lymphokines carry out the function like proliferation of T cells. You can see the differentiation of T cells and which T cell is going to work in which manner and fashion. Now TC cells which are termed as cytotoxic T cells or the killer cells. Those cells that actually try to kill each and everything without finding out a differentiation between self and non-self. Its only function is to kill the cells once it is directed without having an opinion of itself. Now they attack and destroy any cell by invading and binding and secreting perforin material. Now this perforin material what it does is it forms a hole or it they or drills in the membranes of the cell and due to this whole formation the membrane becomes leaky and ultimately that particular organism or that particular antigen would eventually die due to leaky membranes. Lastly suppressor T cells and now when we come across suppressor T cells these are the cells that suppress the immune systems attack against its own body cells. Suppressor T cells are basically given whenever somebody is going across antibody rejection or you can say during organ transplant. Especially during organ transplant if somebody is given an organ which does not belong to themselves. It is given by somebody else or donated to them by somebody else. In that case there is a high chance that those organs or those grafts could be rejected. We all know that our body is incapable of existing anything which is not self. And that graft or that organ should not be rejected. That's the reason suppressor T cells are activated by giving medicines. And the suppressor T cells make sure that that graft is not rejected by our own body. During chemotherapy also suppressor T cells or during cancer treatment, during certain operations which could be internal, suppressor T cells play a role. Now all these type of cells, whether it was helper T cells, cytotoxic T cells, suppressor T cells, memory T cells which actually retain memory they work in a coordinated fashion and they are also accompanied by B complex cells now this B complex cells are along with your T cells they all together try and work under cell mediated immune response and now cell mediated immune response if I can say is the fastest immune response that's given by our body so is it right if I could say that HIV is co-associated with cell immunity immune response or CMI? Yes, it is. I hope students, this is how T cells and B cells work together and this were the type of T cells which we came across. I hope students, now you all are very clear of what T cells are and how they are associated with each other and how they function. Thank you.